Well, many infertile couples trying to become pregnant turn to in vitro fertilization. Now scientists believe they've found a way to improve the whole process. Details next on the Health Watch. In vitro fertilization has helped many infertile couples get pregnant, and now researchers think they've improved it. Tom O'Neill explains in tonight's Health Watch. Tom? Yeah, Dick, a well-known local doctor is adding another step to the process. It's aimed at ensuring the embryos implanted are healthy and hopefully, eventually, the baby. With in vitro fertilization, sperm from the father is used to fertilize eggs from the mother in a petri dish. The resulting embryos are grown in the lab and implanted in the mother's uterus. Many embryos don't have the right combination of chromosomes to survive. We've in the past been blindly transferring uh, embryos back into the woman that are either going to result in no pregnancy or in an early miscarriage, and obviously some of them result in pregnancies. Now Dr. Sherman Silber of the Infertility okay. Center of St. Louis at St. Luke's Hospital has added another step. When the embryo has grown to seven or eight cells, he removes one of the cells and tests it genetically to determine whether it is a good embryo. What we're doing is actually analyzing the chromosomes in that embryo to really know. We're looking inside the black box to really know whether it's a normal embryo or not. Something hard to determine by just looking at the embryos. Number five is the first normal one in that group. These other four are completely abnormal. Right now, the testing is used only in women over 37, those who've had recurring miscarriages or repeated failure of infertility treatment with seemingly good embryos. The testing is also used in a second category of patients, those who are carriers of genetic diseases, such as cystic fibrosis or sickle cell. Again, researchers take the one cell. And analyze it for any of these genetic defects that the parents are carriers of, and thereby not not give the woman a diseased um, embryo. Some people may wonder if this kind of high technology could lead to so-called designer babies. Dr. Silber says not a chance. It's such a complex uh, situation. We're not even anywhere near where we understand enough where, where any crazy guy could do it if he wanted to do it. And what is done with the embryos that doctors think would grow but are abnormal? They are frozen and saved in case researchers come up with a genetic cure in the future.